Hello everyone. This is Kate Wambogo, ambassador. And this is a morning here in Kenya. And this is a different place we are. And today, I thought of giving you a tip of our capital city, our super highway. You've seen me in many times in the farm. But today, this is where we are. Part of this is the Kiambu County. This way is to Nairobi City and the airport, which is the Jomo Kenyatta Airport. And this is Pika Town, where we are going. But we're passing Pika Town all the way to Kiambu, where we are going to where we are going to visit a farmer who has been doing wabogo apples, enjoying harvesting wabogo apple. But today, I thought of visiting this lady so that we see how she's doing. How, how have, uh, have we, has she uh, manages to this point? How, what are the management that has been, been uh, making him, her successful on this? And today, remember, we are going to crunch, we are going to sweetness, we are going to eat today is that day that you can't even miss to see the crunchiness and see the sweetness. So, this is the way we are going to go. That point you are seeing there, that's where we are going to drive at. After Dika Town, you go to a place called Kirimambogo. That is Garissa Road away. So that is where we are going to see her work. I just came from Botswana, Gavron, Dumela. You people, you gave me a very good time. And you can see now I'm enjoying back to Kenya. It was the sweetest time I had there. Thank you, my people. I will say hi to everyone. Hi, Boa. Hi to Meleng. Hello, guys. I love you so, so much. Thank you for the time you gave me. Together with my daughter, she enjoyed this Botswana, but she's back to Kenya. And next week, now we are going to Namibia. So we are coming to Namibia. I know you enjoy Wambogo Apple Ambassadors. There is a small uh, ambassador in making she will attend as I attend here. So thank you so much. We go together, we eat together, we clutch together. But I had to show you a tip of our super, super highway in Nairobi. Yeah, you must know our super highway. You have seen me in the farm, but see, the beautiful Nairobi, the beautiful super highway. So we go together to the farm and enjoy the Kirima, Bogo, Wambogo apples. Come with me. The way from Thika Road where we were. We have just arrived here. This is Monica's a farm. She's still on the way. She's coming. She works in Nairobi and uh, she, this is her farm. So she planted the Wambogo apples four years ago and this is our trees but uh, she is on the way. She will come. She will tell us how do you manage a farm when you are in the city and the farm is here. 
because you can see how it is. Eh? It's a very good and she has been harvesting a lot. But I needed to know how do you manage through your phone that you are able to, to make sure that everything is going well here and uh, fruits are doing well. So welcome to Monica's farm. This is Uamani village. We are just after Kiabu County. We have close to Machakos County, but this place is called Uamani, and there is uh, this is Kirimabogo on the other side. So this is where we are. So when you come here, you get fruits, and today is only harvesting, nothing else. Harvesting, eating, crunching, and everything. So today is it. But before we crunch, and before we eat, we are going to. I'm going to explain some few things. And uh, what you're seeing here, these are apples. She planted like a, a half an acre, uh, because she has an, another place there. So she planted a, like a half an acre. But she's doing other things below here, as you can see. She's doing watermelon, which are very good even for mulching. She also have some uh, bananas going around. I will show you what is she doing because I've been insisting that we do organic. We need to live long. Whatever we are eating, whatever we are consuming needs to be organic. But how is she uh, managing it to be organic? How is, how, what is she using to make sure that the plants are organic? So I'll be able to show you through what she's using and how she's managing. I've been advising her. Uh, just the other day we came and I showed her how to do things there here and she did it and the, the harvest was very good. She has been harvesting, though I've not been there earlier, but she has been harvesting and uh, she's enjoying. She's coming, you see her coming. So we just had to come earlier and uh, harvest before she comes. Then uh, you see her, she will explain how is she managing all this. So these are the trees and uh, the trees she has, these are longer, this is not the short, this is not the dwarf, it's a bit taller, but uh, these are a variety altogether, but it's still doing well, but you need to go up there to get the fruits, because she started harvesting here, definitely when you're harvesting, you start with whatever you can be able to reach, but since now we have the dwarf variety, you can also enjoy it, but if you want to have the tree going up and enjoying the environment, you can still use it, and you can also use it as a as a tree, instead of you planting trees or flowers around your farm, do the trees that will give you fruits. You have a tree, if you need flowers, this tree will give you flowers and it will give you flowers almost throughout the year. So enjoy the, the tree as a tree and also as a plant, as in as a plant that is giving you fruits and also enjoying the flowering. And uh, her farm, she has done some bees, which is more important and also the, the apples uh, flowers attract a lot of bees. So that's why the, the, she did a beehives. But also this one is impo very much important for the, what do you call it, for pollination. So that's why you're seeing the pollination is taking place so well. So when the pollination is taking place so well, so it gives you a guarantee of harvest. And not even harvest, the fruits are so, so huge. And also she is enjoying the, the, the what do you call it, the honey. I've been buying honey from her and it is very sweet and it's perfect. And remember, the bees from here, there are no chemicals. The bees from here, there are no, nothing, nothing. It's all natural. So when you're eating the fruits, it's natural. When you're taking the, 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 the honey, it's so natural. So you, you are doing apples. You, I can also encourage you, like in our farm, we have done the beehive, after seeing how they are doing in our farm. So ensure you can do two or three beehives. This one will attract, because the flowering of the apple always attracts a lot of bees. So instead of uh, you buying honey for your breakfast or for your bread and for, for your taking your, your dawa, we call it dawa here in Kenya, or is a, is a concrete that is, you use ginger, you use turmeric, and now you use lemon. And uh, now instead of using sugar, use the honey, but ensure that the sugar, the, the honey you are using, it's from your trees or someone else who has. So because the, we need to live long, we need, we need, this is a gospel that I need to preach, that you need to, whatever you are consuming in our body, it's helping our body or even our kids. Imagine you are, the young, your kids or your grandchildren are, are consuming, is are just chemicals. What kind of future have you given them? I'm sure that whatever you are doing is organic. Minimal usage of chemicals and fertilizers. And it's as simple as that. And I will make sure that I show you 
through what you can make sure that you are using uh, the other video I did uh, I mean last uh, two weeks ago you saw what I, I we use in our farm so you can practice the same but also uh, those who are not able to get them maybe uh, by um, rabbit urine I'll show you what the, we can also use to ensure that your your farm is free from the flies insects and all that kind of uh, I uh, uh, things that you make sure you use uh, the chemicals to treat your trees so make sure that I show you what she's using here so we are doing harvest as we speak uh, here and there though the, the fruits are not that much she has been harvesting like last week I, I was to come but I was not here as I said I was in Botswana for uh, some training to farmers so I had to she had to harvest but since uh, she'll be harvesting a lot I'll be able to do be, uh, visiting her for to see how she is doing but uh, right now we have some few fruit fruits uh, not much many but uh, we have to cut them because they're somewhere they are needed remember we are trying to do uh, this um, this organic because you have more market when you're doing organic your prices becomes higher so it's an advantage that you have uh, good thank you so much hey look at this one hey yes this one is so nice and I said it's organic. So as soon as I take from uh, from the from the harvest, you can be able to consume it. It's not it's not uh, what do you call it? It's very clean because remember we are not using this is a farm. Uh, I don't need to use water because the one that doesn't have chemicals, so you just consume. See the redness of the apple. See how big it is. So they are this this huge. You can see them, but there are some that are small. Remember, this is nature, and the uh, see. So these five, I'm telling you, this one can be one kilo. You can imagine this is one kg. So five and full of my hands, and still I'm stretching my fingers to be able to hold the fruits. So this is it. We are harvesting a lot. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's sweet as always and so crunchy mm. yeah, nice thank you so you have more and more we're going to pack them they have uh, some orders uh, for people who want and they want to clunch as I clunch so this is how we do them eh? we just put them in a plate uh, but soon all or very soon we'll be having uh, cartons that we are packing and we are, as we uh, as we export them remember we have a market so if you're planting you you not be able to struggle that much if you don't have market we'll be able to connect you and uh, we sell together there is a uh, in Kenya we have few people who want us to, to supply them we are doing some documentation so for the organic right now we are certified as organic farmer apple farmer then the kefis has given us the, the, the certificate also so we have all the documents now we have cleared our ground because now people need now to to after have after planting now needs to sell but whatever we are selling we ensure that we are not struggling we are selling we are we are certified so now we can join together with our, with our documentation we will be able to take your fruits and sell together because it's not only us that we will be selling we're connecting those people you have been selling the seedlings to so we will be uh, selling together and we will enjoy the money together uh, back to more university where we did right now the trees are growing well i'll be doing a video soon they are already having some flowers and they, we, so far we are at 50 acres so sooner than sooner we'll be now be harvesting in Moi University but now we are uh, uh, right now because our farm we don't have fruits we have sold everything that's why we are reaching Monica also to show her where she'll be selling her fruits so is a is a what do you call it it's like a marriage you are getting into is a is a is a is like a what do you call this a company that we are we are, we are doing together and we enjoy this are together for those who are abroad like Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia, Uganda, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ca Caribbean, Jamaica, all these people 
you can be joining together. Like last week where I met uh, almost 300 people in Botswana, Gabron. So we, I, I had the whole, the, the, the team and they are combining together. So they will be farming together and be selling together. So this one make it so easy for people because if we are planting a hundred and the other one a hundred and the other one two hundred you just make sure that you combine together you have any you, you you need to have that network though i'm there we'll be able we, because we have some whatsapp group we we'll be able to now to connect to each other so if you are struggling in your selling your trees if you, we need more in like you in uh, in uk we'll be able to connect you from your country to them. So though so many countries locally, the, the market is there. Locally, locally, the market. Like in Kenya, locally, is, the market is huge. So what, what you'll do, uh, if you struggle with the market, we'll be able to connect you. Because since we, uh, as we have more, uh, more inquiries about it, so if you're struggling, we just be able to connect you and you'll be able to, to sell your fruits. On the other hand, Locally, the, the fruits have a lot of demand, like in Kenya, so much. So now as we pack, we will just take them. But be before we, we finish up, I will show you what is happening here. I want to show you what you'll be doing. After planting, and uh, you want to add manure. A tree like this one is a, uh, is a big tree. Remember, this one has four years. So what you're supposed to do? Remember, the roots have moved from this point to almost here. So what you're supposed to do, you, I, I said we remove the soil, but I want to do it practically so that you'll be able to know how. So all around, all around, this is like a one or two, yeah, one, one foot. One foot deep. One foot is like how many? Yeah, 30, 30. Yeah, 30 centimeters or one foot. So you make sure that all around you make this deep, deep one centimeter, I mean 30 or one foot. So this deep, this deep, all around. And you make sure that you are away, little far away from the tree that like uh, 30 or 60 centimeters or two feet away from the, the main stem where it is. I mean from here to here, all around. Now you take your, your wheelbarrow, a whole wheelbarrow of uh, manure, cow manure, chicken manure, uh, goat manure, pig manure, you can be able to use it all around. Then after putting manure all around, you cover it up. If your manure is not well decomposed, because you don't need to use uh, uncomposed manure, because what can happen, it can burn the, the roots of the tree, meaning to, it will kill your tree. So ensure whatever you are using, that is um, the manure you're using, cow, goat, whatever, it's well decomposed. If you know it's not yet, and the tree you have harvested and you need to add something to it or feed the tree, I'll show you organic, uh, I'll call it fertilizer that we are using. Uh, uh, locally in your country, you can check there, you know, there are people who are making it. So they are waste of fish, waste of uh, rabbit uh, urine and all that. They mix and they make some organic. So you can, uh, meanwhile, before your, your manure uh, decompose well and be ready to be eaten by the tree, so you can be using that fertilizer. But what you do, you make sure that this one, because it's not much, you're not supposed to put it very far, but you're supposed to make sure that you are seeing the roots like this, the way you are seeing them. Make sure you're not harming the roots. So you just move it like this slowly until you start seeing the roots all around. I mean, all, I'm just redoing here but for the sake of the video. So all around you, you make sure you are, you are doing it. So give me the fertilizer. So this is the fertilizer we are using. You're supposed to use it. In Kenya, we are using this. As you can see, it looks like a cow parrots actually it's uh, very dark and you can see these are uh, animal waste that is have been compressed and processed together just to make sure that whatever you're using is uh, organic so these are some of the ways oh, smelling fish smelling the waste of <laughs> rabbits so it is one so a bags a bag of uh, 50 kgs is around uh, is around uh, 50 dollars 
or 5,000 Kenya shilling, one bag. But there are those who can maybe be uh, selling at uh, $25. There are those who are selling at $40. 25 is around 25,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 Kenya shilling or 50 or 40 dollars that is uh, in US dollar. But this is it. So once you get like this, a tree like this will take uh, two kgs of of these parrots. So what you take, you take it around. Now this one we are putting it to the roots. Remember this one is already processed and it can't uh, harm the tree, but they're only going to feed the tree direct. So what you do, you put it like this all around. Uh, so this is, a, let's say this one is quarter. So you ensure that wherever you are putting, you can be able to see. So you're supposed to take it round, round, but you put it to where the roots are. So that's it. So after you do that, then you cover it up. Remember this, uh, whatever, you, if you expose it to the sun, meaning that it will, the nutrients will either die or not feed the tree. But the point of this fertilizer is after putting into the, to the roots of the trees around, you cover it up. So whatever I'm going to do, you cover it up like this. Yeah, to cover. When you cover it like that, then you do the watering. If you can be able to see where I'm doing it, I didn't cover as in flat. I have left a depression like this, like a basin. So when you put up your water here, it will not flow, but it will retain on the tree. So the tree will be enjoying the water and also it will uh, dilute that, that, uh, that fertilizer or manure that you have put in. So ensure you are not covering like this, covering and it's flat. So ensure that you are leaving that depression for the tree, I mean for the hole to be able to hold the water. Then the other thing, when you, are, you leave a depression like this, when your manure will be ready, you just come and put it here around. So you not interfere with that fertilizer you are putting because if you remove again after a few weeks, then means all the food that you get to the tree will, will go away. So ensure that you are leaving and you leave a depression. Then this fertilizer, after 10, exactly 10 days, if you come and do like this, you remove the, the, I mean the soil like this. On the roots of this tree, you find some small, so many small white, uh, white, uh, white roots, new white roots. You get me? New white, they, they look like white, so many around. On the, on the, the these ones, so leave about this one, you find that there are so many white uh, roots coming, coming out a new one. Meaning now this tree, after feeding it, it will be able to eat and eat and eat. Meaning the fruits will be more, the flowering will be massive, and you enjoy the tree. These are some of the technical things or simple basic things you're supposed to do and enjoy your plants. So if you give this plant that support, I'm telling you, you sing a song of worship and praise always for the trees. So ensure you're feeding it well and you enjoy the harvest. So that's it. And then ensure that uh, all your trees are like that. I mean, uh, you ensure that your trees are like that, then you enjoy the, the harvest. So you do it to the whole trees and not only for the apples, even the other fruit tree you have. Feed them well because in life you, you don't only need apples to consume. Those for, like us, we are doing for commercial, you ensure you do it. But for the, also eating, you need it. You need others like, like uh, you need pawpaw to eat and all that. So ensure they're organic and feed them the way I'm doing it. So this one will help you to harvest more and more. Here we are. I need to show you the kind of um, pest control used in this farm. So for this farm, remember she has intercropped with um, watermelon and also she has some plantain, she has some bananas. So this one can also, the weeds, can attract some flies, which we don't know can affect the, the apples. Or well, what she has done in this farm, she has put what we call biological trap. This one, as the word it is, it is used to trap the, the insects. See, when you just hang it on the trees, they are just hung on the trees here, at least in a, in, a, in a good percentage of uh, containers, so you can be able to trap here and there. So this is the, the biological trap. Let me, let me remove it so you can be able to see. So this is it, sorry. So this is it. This is a container, just a simple container you, you can pick for those who are using uh, butter, 
you remain you put this so there's a this some this inside here this one has some uh, some a uh, solution that is dipped and then you put it here so this thing will be attracting the, fl the flies once they attack the flies they'll get inside here through this the holes these holes they'll get inside when they get inside and they start sucking this you know it smells like uh, flowering or the leaves of the trees so they'll come inside once they come inside they are trapped here so once they get in here they die and the, the point of this what happens they give what do you call it they they attract all the male inside here so we are left with the female outside here so the female at the time of reproduction they will not be able to to product but because all the fathers all the male all the husbands huh? yes all the husbands are inside here they are dying <laughs> all the husbands are dying here all the male insects are here so what will happen the reproduction out there will not happen so those ones are male female once they reach to a point of repro uh, need now to be fertilized now to give to give more they will not have male so what will happen you eliminate all the flies that kind of a family so you have put an end of that so this is it and we will show you how many we have uh, we have done so many here so this is how it is done this is just a wire and then the, here is a solution that is dipped and then put here then you attacked but see how all these have died inside here there are so many and not only this there are so many containers around so they all trapped in here and died so this is the end of those flies so this one is a natural uh, way of eliminating the, the 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 insect so that is how it's done so the holes are used for that and then you make sure that you hang along you don't hang outside your house you hang them around the, the trees or not only the apples even those who are doing avocados instead of you spraying the chemicals because of such you just do the biological trap so my, my cameraman will come with me I show you another another way of uh, eliminating this some of these fries so here this just a this just a some what do we call it a piece of plastic but we have put a solution here smelling which will attract also the flies once they get here as if they want to suck suck the the, the flowering of the tree or the fruits they will stuck there and die once they touch there they cannot be able to move now this one will attract, will attract all either male or female they will, they will be they will be stuck here and once they stuck there they will not be they will not be able to move so they will just die there so what you'll be doing removing this and throw it away and put it on another, another one so you don't use a lot of money to buy chemicals to buy insecticides or pesticides so this is what you you use even to those who are doing other fruits especially for export this one is so much a device because the market you have out there they need organic and remember organic is a way because uh, even organically everything is so uh the, the the market you get more market than when you're using chemicals so this is one of the way to use and to enjoy your money remember we are doing this as a business and i uh, remember farming is not just a, a way of a, a, a living a, 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 a way of living but you are creating a business center so this is how you're doing it so when you're doing this you're about to employ more people uh even for you you make money and all that so make sure everything is done in the right way and remember this one is not expensive you just do it uh you buy and you hang it there and that is it so there's no that manpower spraying and all that and when you are eating you're not sure whether this one was up to the day it's supposed to be for the chemical to have expired and you're able to, to consume so use the natural ways even to control the pest so there's uh, something else you come and show you and uh, uh -huh. I need to I need to pluck a fruit. Eh? Come with me. So and uh, see what they have used here also. This to to scare the the scarecrow to scare some of the birds. So once they see this, they will think uh, the ego is there. So they will just fly away. My goodness. Ouch. <laughs> how huge they are nice huge 
and I'm telling you this one is crunchy. Before we go, this one in Kenya we call it Lala Salama. Yes, sleep well with this one. And uh, I told you, you ju just need to eat. And uh, there is no chemicals used, as you can see. I think I've shown you proof of that. And as I always say, Wambogo apples is the way. Wambogo apples is crunchy, it's sweet. And remember, one apple a day keeps doctor away. What about two apples? They will keep even the witch doctors away. Not only doctor, witch doctor for two. So take two, take three. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You can feel it, eh? Yes, now where you're seated now, we have Monica and Lena. They have just come in. Uh, and we are lucky to have them. I know they have a very uh, tight schedule, but uh, they have come for la to have time with us. And as I said, they are doing a lot of things here. And uh, uh, more to that, as I mentioned earlier, they are doing honey, just from apple, flowering and all that. So she came with this honey. I didn't know that it's available for today, but it's here. It's written Nashovic Organics, Health Food and good, Golden Life. As I said, we need organic things for our bodies to be healthy and to live long. So this honey is, they have it here in the farm. I think you, you'll be able to see the beehives. And that is where they're harvesting from. So when you have this, it's purely organic. As you saw, we are using our biological traps and all that. So there are no chemicals used. So when you take this one, it's pure organic. This one is proven. Myself, I've proven it. So I've been using it. And uh, here in Nairobi, they have, a, they have a shop. They have a where they have. It's not a big shop, but they have a, a stock enough. And uh, if, you, if you're in Nairobi, you can have this. And actually, you, you, as you take it, you feel the taste of apple because they, they are, uh, the, the bees visit a lot of uh, apple flowers so you'll be able to feel the taste of the apple and uh, this one is one kg those who are away um, in Botswana, Zimbabwe, wherever you are wherever I'll be coming you can be ordering I'll become I'll be coming with it so it's just one kilo that is one kg and she tell us how much she sells I don't know I'm a customer I buy maybe my, my price is discounted you know i'm the yes she's my case so your price is different of course higher than mine yes so don't worry she'll give you the price and uh feel free I, i'll ask for discount for my 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 customers my my loved uh beloved farmers so she'll talk about that she'll tell us how does she manage to do farming when she's away because you have seen it's successful and she, she always calls, she always makes a uh, follow-up, she comes here. So she'll tell us how is she managing all this when she's very far. So Monica, welcome and Lena. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, you're most welcome. Karibuni sana. And uh, I want to give you this mic. Tell us about this beautiful and uh, good honey. How did you harvest? And how do you manage to do apple farming? How long? When did you plant these apples? How, how many, how, how, several, how several do you harvest? And have you seen a profit out of this? So tell us, you guys. Karibuni sana. I'll forward Thank this you. mic to you people. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I am Monka. Monka Nzoki. Farmer, organic farming here at Krimambogo. And I am not Arun. Tell us your name. Uh, my name is Lina Kaimuri. I uh, wish to say I'm a civil engineer by profession and uh, I, we do farming together with Monica and we really love it. Very true. Now, uh -huh, we live in Nairobi, but this is our farm here in Krimambogo. We started farming some, let's say, five to six years ago, right? Five to six years ago, that is when we started this farming. Driven by, I think, passion driven. We love farming. We naturally love farming. And 
bearing in mind that nowadays we have so many products that, that are not organic, that affect our bodies, that are not otherwise good for us, we obtained for the organic way of farming. And the organic way of farming, we consider that we have, we have families, we have children, we have sisters, we have brothers, and we were looking at the future or the long life of our customers and our families at ranch. So organic farming so far, so good. We started the, this uh, farm out of passion, uh, driven by the, the, the need of having food without chemicals. And therefore we, 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 we scouted for this land in this place because we knew that uh, this place was uh, fertile and it is also good for, 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 for honey, honey farming. And uh, from, from, our, from our scouting, we, we had heard about uh, Wambogo Hapo. And we, we were out to, to see, how to, to, to do the fruits for our families, specifically for our families. But out of that, we, 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 we found that it can also be, bring us some income. And then we planted the apples, which within nine months then started flowering. And we were so excited. And to complement with that, we started the, the, bee, the, the bee farming, beekeeping, which will complement the, the apples and the beekeeping, where the, the bees uh, help in pollination. And at the same time, the, the, the bees get uh, nectar to make, the, to, to make honey. So this is purely organic because we don't use chemicals on our apples. We use the, the, the biological way of uh, controlling pests. Uh, in our apples, so everything that we get here is uh, is purely organic. So we, we are, every every the, the apples flower throughout. If you have water in our farm, the apples will flower throughout the the throughout the year. We normally visit the farm every weekend. On Saturdays we are we are we are normally come here just to check and to we have our staffs here, our cashiers who we have embroiled just to look after the farm, to to manage the farm for us, but we normally come here every weekend. During the, our visits, that is when we harvest the apples, and we are happy that we, we found the Wambogo, Wambogo farm. Mainly Catherine, she has been of good, very big help to us because of the marketing and she, she has given that leaning shoulder a farmer can need in marketing and in support. So we thank Catherine very, very much. Also, Teresia, thank you for your encouragement and support. And always, you've, you've not turned down our calls and our various queries regarding the apples. We are very much grateful for that. And we also have dairy goats. We have milk from our dairy goats. Also, we are trying rabbit farming in this farm, of which it, um, it didn't do well due to, I think, climatic reasons. And we are starting all over again about the rabbit farming. As for the goats, they are doing well. We have more than 20 goats as we are talking. They are all dairy goats and they are not local ones. They are the ones for, for milk. And they are doing well as well for the manure that we normally use for, for the apples. So everything about this farm is organic, very, very organic. So we would advise and encourage upcoming farmers to join us in farming. It's worth it. Our farm is a Shelvic Organics. Uh, if anyone would, would like to visit, you are most welcome to see what we are doing because uh, our, uh, the economy needs farmers. Yeah. So even if we are a profession somewhere there, mm -hmm. I can tell you farming is working. Yes. One kg of our organic pure honey goes at 1,200 Kenyan shillings. 1,200 Kenyan shillings, that is one kg. 
and you won't regret having it. It cures uh, so many diseases, by the way. If you have corns, fruits, you can have it, and it will cure all those things. We also use it in spreading in bread for the breakfast. It's very sweet. That's an engineer. I thank God. Even engineers need farmer every day. <laughs> I love my farming. Hey, I'm a, I'm a farmer. She's an engineer, but come farmer. So I really am proud of them. And uh, as you heard, they have. You're going to see the dairy goats. Are you selling the dairy no, goats? I'm not selling, but I'm selling the milk. She's selling the milk. I'm only selling the milk for now. Yeah. But also, mm -hmm. I have the kings. Okay. I have some few kings again. Uh -huh. I can sell. Okay. Yeah. So please don't call me for for goat. <laughs> call me for honey <laughs> and for milk. <laughs> uh, one liter for milk. Yeah. It goes for 200 Kenya shillings. Yeah, one liter is 200 shillings. Available. And it is available. Hey, thank you. Pack for me. <laughs> yes! Today, hey, the bread, honey, my fruits, apple, hey, and the milk, I can imagine. I always enjoy when I'm in the farming. And uh, 200 shillings for one liter, yes. that is $2. Yes. yes, for the sake of my... But milk, I will not call it. But honey, I will call it. Honey is 1,200 for... That is Kenyan shilling, but one uh, the, uh, for my other f friends out there is twelve dollars. One uh, twelve dollars per one liter or one kg, so that is twelve dollars. When I'm coming there, Namibia, we are coming. This one, if you need one ki one kilo or one kg, is twelve dollars. But for Kenyans, one thousand two hundred, and uh, you enjoy it almost a week. You save your money, and you eat organic, and you save your life. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying. Thank you so much, Monica and Lina, Thank for you. even Thank coming you. and giving yeah. us a, a time to have here and uh, to enjoy, and also carrying something back home. Yeah. My oh, yes. Wambugo, you will taste this. Yes. My father will enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> so God bless you so much. You too. Until next time, you come and visit. You have more honey. You have more fruits. So you allow us to live and to go and uh, take the fruits to the market. So until next time, my friends, it's a bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you.